Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Aspire to be a giver. A giver of love, a giver of good vibes, and a giver of strength. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 181, NASDAQ up 70, S&P's up 20, gold contract up $2.10, trading at 1,311 an ounce. Silver down 18 cents at $19.87 an ounce. Platinum up two at 1,442 an ounce. Copper flat at 304 a pound. Late sweet crude up 89 cents at 103.45 a barrel. Bonds. The 10-year up 4 ticks at 124.06. 30-year down 12, trading out at 133.09. King dollar down 255 ticks at 79.58. The euro up 59 at 138. And the yen flat at 101.99. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. What do we have? Can you say A, B, C, down? Oh, baby. Here we go. So, cash S&P, up 19 bucks. We do 781 million shares versus 835. You come off the high, nice juice off the high. The high in the S&P is uh, 1897. We get down to a price point of the 1837, get a nice bounce going. I suspect you'll get this bounce. More than likely, folks, the, 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 the cash S&P, or the S&P in general, is not going to be an ABC structure on the way down. What is going to be is the NASDAQ. Uh, well, the reason being is this, is that when you do an ABC structure or down, the definition is you go down with volume, you go up with lighter volume, you do less than a 1. Uh, 0.618 retracement. And what would you have with the, the, the S&P, the S&P really never got that far down, you know, so it can do more than a 0.618. That's my that's my point. Volume characteristic is perfect. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that this is a bounce. The bounce can get into about uh, another 13 points on the S and P, and now you'll see it come all the way back downtown. Now, because this is what you have lined up here. Now you still have the February 5th lineup. You have the October 6th lineup, uh, and those are way downtown. We will go over to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. This is what you have with the Dow. Dow Industrials today. I am do you. There we go. Sorry about that. There she goes. Okay. So Dow Industrials, we go up 181 bucks. We are at 16,437. The high that was generated up there was the 16,660, 6, Thirty-one. Uh, that high went into this five eighty-eight, and what we have here is that uh, you know this baby can probably get into five oh six. You know another hundred bucks. Nasdaq Composite. Okay, so inside the composite, what you have is this. This went up seventy bucks, and check it out. This is really cool, folks. See the composite. The A point on the composite is all the way up at thirty-seven hundred. Thirty-seven seven. Yeah, 3770, 4371, down to 4052. Nice bounce going, zero volume, 1.9 billion versus 2.5. The composite itself can get up to probably 42, 42. It's not, yeah, the composite get up another $70 pretty easy. That, and all that would be doing is guess what? Just not even making ice. Ice in the composite is up to 42, 40, uh, 47. If you want to take a look at the correlation inside the NDX 100, which is what brought the market down, the NDX 100 today, the Qs, we did 44 million shares versus downtown of 83 million. So, um, in versus 133 million. Okay, bottom line, you got to. Basically, a dead cat bounce here. But that's what the markets love to do. The NDX 100 had finished the ABC structure on the way down. They always like to do something uh, other than 
continue the same way. All this is doing, my take, is that we're building another ABC structure on the way down, a much larger one, actually. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, we use the IWM, same setup in the Russell 2000. Your high out here, the IWM, the high out there was uh, 120. Got down to 112. Uh, you bounced today on 39 million shares versus 86 million on the way down. We take a look at the gold contract. Uh, we had the gold out here. She traded in between a price point of 1315 to 1308. I had 120,000 contracts, and she's having a hard time holding price. I, my, my take is that this gold uh, looks like it's going to be uh, an ABC structure on the way down. And we're going to go. We're going to switch gears. And I normally do bonds after that, but I want to do the dollar after this today. And the reason being is that yesterday, folks, the dollar was down 500 ticks. Today, it's down 255. Both instances, okay? You had lighter volume than what's going into, and today the volume lightened up compared to yesterday. But check this out. So t yesterday we had 25,000 contracts. Today we have 20,000. 20, You're going into the, the strength that had 25,000. The bottom of the day of strength, when it went topside, folks, the first day it went topside, was March 19th. The low there on March 19th was 79.49. We got down to 79.53. It's going to go tag that bottom, but guess what? It wants to hold that bottom, and... and the a relationship goes right back to this gold contract again. With the dollar getting slammed two days in a row like that, gold couldn't move. That's a huge heads up, folks. That the dollar wants to go higher, gold wants to go lower. Bonds. We go take a look at the bond. Ten-year bond, guess what? It's going topside, baby. <laughs> it's just too much. Uh, 1.1 million contracts out here today, and, and it's absolutely out of the... Um, slight downtrend that it had been in maybe the last couple of weeks. Uh, this baby's going to go after the swing point of that 125.08. I expect you're going to be at about uh, 128, 129. The 30-year bond, same setup in the 30-year. 30 is actually even stronger. We have with the 30-year. Uh, she went sideways today, 276,000 contracts. She wants to blow away that 134. Uh, the 30-year looks to be going to that 141 area. Let's go to John in uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, I Iowa. No, we, he's gone. But he wanted to look at MUX. MUX, folks, is McEwen Mining. Uh, the low is 163. The high is 374. And uh, bottom line, I wouldn't be buying any gold stocks right now. Um, and this equity, you know, when you take a look, when we take a look at it, uh, December, the stock's at 170. Runs beautiful run. In March, all the way up to 370, back to 256. Uh, most of these are ABC structures on the way down. What you're going to see out here is that this is going to challenge more than likely the 195 area. Right now, you're at 256. 877 927 6648. Let's take a look at the silver contract we have with silver. So, silver right now is trading. Oh, look at silver. Ooh, silver's dangerous, baby. Silver is dangerous, folks. So what does silver do today? Yep, silver's going to be an ABC down. So check it out. Man, the way this is lined up, folks, is a trip, particularly because we have a, a B to a C setting up on the main indices, that NASDAQ, the Dow Industrials, the small caps. The dollar got smoked two days in a row. But guess what? This silver contract... Got into a swing point today, 1957. You go to 1960. We did 58,000 contracts versus 33,000. This is setting up an ABC structure on the way down. If you get the full structure, it's going to basically get into the lows that were established. And I believe it's 1818. I got to do S, bring this continuous contract up. So if we bring the continuous contract up, we put this. Yeah, this is serious business. So. 1818. Now, if you break 1818, that's going to be a spike down at 1695. This uh, PAS. Let me just look at a couple of these silver stocks and see what they're. Yeah, that's not PAS. Is not bad. It's not bad. 877-927-6648. We had the Dow Industrials finish up uh, 181. Nasdaq up 70. S&P's up 20. Gold trading at 
1,311, silver at 1,988, platinum 1,443. We're going to be right back.